Working with Santa Muti. This is a story about how Santa Muti revealed herself to me. To be honest, I have no idea who Santa Muti was until quite recently, but what an experience that was in getting to know her. Recently, a gentleman contacted me about my occult service. He was interested in selling his soul for a successful career. He was interested in an infernal spirit. He also asked if Santa Muti was available for a soul contract. For the purpose of this video, we will call this gentleman Mark. Interesting enough, earlier that week, a girl whom I haven't spoke to for many years sent me a picture of her on Facebook. She was dressed as Santa Muti with the full face paint, apparently it was for Halloween last year, she asked me what I think, because she is planning to go to a cosplay party. I have forgotten about it until I got the gentleman's email. What are the chances? Still, I wasn't sure about selling one's soul to a pagan god. I mean, she is pagan, right? So I thought it wasn't going to work. Besides, I don't know anything about Santa Muti. I don't know the tradition, I don't know any of the rich culture behind this goddess. I don't even speak Spanish. Besides, Mark was rather set on selling his soul to a money demon. He loves Santa Muti, but I got a feeling that he is looking to recuperate his investments. At this point of the email conversation, I decided to go downtown for dinner. This restaurant was doing an all-you-can-eat sushi promotion. Long story short, I had a hard time getting to the restaurant. Missing buses, train delay, got off the wrong stop, etc. Long story short, I ended up by a park by the waters at midnight. It's my favorite place to meditate and do law of attraction exercises. It was at that moment Santa Muti presented herself to me. In a half trance state, I actually saw her. It was a strange, transient state. It's like I am half in the physical world and I am half in the astro world. I can hear her clearly. I can see her clearly, as if she's there with me. She appears to me as a petite young lady, huge blue eyes, dark auburn hair, medium long hair. She has the typical cosplay Santa Muti cosplay face paint, but appears to be very healthy, a baby face look, like someone whom you know is college age but with a teenager's face. She was wearing a light green sweater, with hoodie hanging on the back. She was very polite and poised. Not intimidating but radiating with goddess energy. She spoke in a soft, yet assured voice. Soft enough so I have to raise my attention to here. She said she lured me to that park by the water at midnight because that is where I can experience her the best. She knew I was curious about her, so she didn't wait for me to ask. She said she's obviously not a saint. A saint once lived as human and died. She was bornless. Neither is she pagan. She said she's an elemental being. She said she is an earth elemental, but paused, then corrected herself, she said she's more like a life elemental. She said her kind was not documented in human books so it's hard to explain. She is a curator of life, overlooking the process of life and death. She wasn't originally interested in humans, but she answered a shaman at a time of need, and that tribe to people started worshipping her. She went through different evolutions of religion and recently became worshipped by Catholics. She said she enjoyed the offerings and attention so she performed miracles for her followers. She said she wanted to help Mark, but Mark was too focused on money. She asked if I can convince Mark to bind with her. I wasn't sure what to say. She noticed my hesitation, so she put one of her hand on my thigh, and asked may I? She means if she can enter my body, I then feel her body turn into a ball of green light, and this incredible amount of energy push through my heart chakra. It was the most amazing, beautiful sensation. My chakras became so warm I started sweating at those body parts and this warm flowing energy just flows all over my body, at that point, I feel like I can see through time, and all limitation had been unblocked. I wasn't sure how much time had passed, I just feel this amazing bliss. It is a surreal experience.
Afterwards, Santa Muti slowly emerged from my body. She is the same girl, but her face paint is gone and she's wearing an orange sweater with hoodie handing on the back. She said she only had the face paint on so I can recognize her. She is very cute. Smooth feature, youthful, sweet. Like a girl next door kind of sweetness. She asked me again to help Mark find her. She said she had been calling Mark from the other side but he didn't listen. She said she would reward me if I take care of her boy, Mark. She then leaned over and kissed me on the cheek and left. Before she left I asked how she would like to be addressed. Obviously her name is not Santa Muti. She gave it some thought, she said call me Maria, she paused again and said, wait, call me Mia. She also said only people who knew her well should call her Mia. She also gave a tip in working with her, she said, see me in flesh, and she will manifest herself to you. She emphasized the phrase, in flesh. The conversation between me and Mark is confidential. Long story short. He decided to bind with Santa Muti. Soon after he made his decision, someone went to my eBay store and brought everything. The profit from that sale is worth many times the money Mark paid me for my service. It is odd because that store sell off seasonal items, and it had been sitting idle for months. Imagine the surprise when my PayPal alert went crazy. Having said that, Mia delivered her end of the promise. What happened next is really between Mark and Mia, I am not going to ask. I guess the story ends here, for now. You never know what happens next though, maybe we'll have an update in a few years time, maybe not. One thing I can tell you for sure is that Santa Muti is a real spirit, she's not just a made up idol. She has real presence, she has real power. She is a good provider, she's a good healer, she works miracle. I have worked with other spirits before, and in time, I would like to share those stories too. Looking online. I haven't found a lot of people who have specifically worked with Santa Muti. There are a lot of talks about her, but very few true story I can count on to reference. Do you have an experience with this entity? Share your experience on the comments below. One last thing, if you are a YouTuber or have another blog, and you enjoyed this story, which is 100% true, please share it on your channel. Santa Muti would appreciate the attention. Good things happens to people who gain the favor of this powerful spirit.